A warm welcome to this, the first film in our Design Detail series. In it, we explain what 1 to 20 scale drawings are used for. Let us recall what scale means. As we saw in Between the Lines, our first series of films, the term scale refers to the ratio of the linear dimension of an element of an object as represented in a drawing to the real linear dimension of the same element of the object itself. For example, on a scale of 1 to 50, which you should now be familiar with, 10 centimetres on a drawing corresponds to 50 times that dimension in reality. 10 times 50 centimetres equals 500 centimetres, that is to say 5 metres. Here you can see the scales ideally used in architectural drawings. Design drawings are prepared to a scale of between 1 to 2000 and 1 to 100, construction drawings to a scale of between 1 to 50 and 1 to 1. The first semester of our architecture degree concentrates on construction design and so on scales of between 1 to 50 and 1 to 1. You have no doubt already completed a number of 1 to 50 construction drawings, so it's time to move on to larger 1 to 20 scale representations. This scale is used primarily to illustrate the relationship between design and construction. Put simply, how do I want to design something in principle and what will it look like? A scale of 1 to 20 enables us to consider both the appearance and the construction design structure of the main part of a building in its entirety. It is the largest scale that provides an overview of a building and in which we also show the actual dimensions of all the major components without abstraction. There are three specific situations in which 1 to 20 drawings are used. They are used to show the design and construction of facades, generally with full height facade sections. This facade for the psychiatric unit at Saxony Hospital in Altscherbitz is roughly 5 metres tall. On a 1 to 20 scale drawing, it measures approximately 25 centimetres in height and so fits perfectly on a sheet of A3 paper. Larger paper formats are used for taller buildings. 1 to 20 scale drawings are also used for staircases. As the geometrical relationships between the various components of a staircase are complicated, they are drawn in full from one floor to the next on a scale of 1 to 20. This makes it possible to represent the position and form of landings, stairway, individual steps, nominal landing edges, well holes and banisters clearly and to include both construction elements and various component layers. Finally, 1 to 20 scale drawings are used to show specific fit-out details. A typical example would be a tile layout plan for a wet room showing the tile grid, layout geometry and the position of bathroom fixtures. They are able to show full wall heights and widths. Small buildings and structures can also be shown in full on a 1 to 20 scale drawing such that both design and construction are visible at a glance. Here you can see two drawings made by one of our former students for a design competition winning deer stand. These drawings were ultimately used to build the stand. Because the 1 to 20 scale is used to show entire sections of buildings in large drawings, it is also well suited to presentations. They are often used in architectural design competitions where the judging panel is often comprised of more than 10 people and for student presentations to lecturers. Here you can see one of our colleagues, Ivan Reimann, on a visit to the university here in Dortmund a few years ago. Anything shown on a 1 to 20 scale drawing can be illustrated equally well in model form. Models are an excellent way of making design and construction processes clear and easier to understand. On the left here you can see a model of the deer stand I mentioned earlier. On the right is the facade of the psychiatric unit in Altscherbitz. 1 to 20 scale is also ideally suited to models of interiors. We made a model of the church interior for our church project in Leipzig, which we were able to use both to simulate the incidence of light in the lighting designer's imitation of the heavens and to gain an unusual perspective on the interior through a hole in the floor. Summary 1 to 20 scale drawings serve to illustrate the relationship between design and construction. They are used to show the design and construction of facades, the complex architectural geometry of stairs and specific fit-out details such as tile layout plans for wet rooms. 
please take a look at the second film in our Design Details series, in which we explain the change in the level of detail between 1 to 50 and 1 to 20 scale drawings.